Okay. The time is on. 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Okay. Look sexy. Look sexy. Looks, look sexy. Oh my gosh. Look, look sexy. Look. Hey gorgeous and welcome back to my channel. I'm Kupanish Shmage and this is How I Do Things. The show where you send me your questions and I'll let you know how I would do things. Now you can take it as advice or use it as entertainment. Use it, don't use it. Take it, don't take it. Do what you will with it. Listen, I am no professional. Me, not a professional. I'm just letting you know what I would do if I was in your shoes. Now, when it comes to our man, you know, we want to spoil this guy. I don't know about you. I want to spoil my man because I think there are positive repercussions to me spoiling my man. Life becomes so much better when he is spoiled. I'm, I'm the type of person I like spoiling my man. Like I get a kick out of it. I get a kick out of knowing that he's full, he's good, he's been massaged, his shoulders are fine, his head is fine. And I've done a video like this before where I was just like, this, these are the 10 things that I do to spoil my man, but we can go an extra mile. You know what I mean? We can do other extra things that we can do for him, spoiling him in terms of things that we give to him. The last time I told you about things that cost no money, massage his head, you know, things like that. But now I'm gonna tell you how you can spend a bit of coin and spoil your man. I'm gonna get into that right now. Cause when you spoil your man like this, watch your relationship just take an up and an up. Now, if you have any questions that you wanna send to me, head over to my Instagram and look for this picture right here. It's my question picture for how I do things. It's in my Insta story highlights. All you have to do is go to my profile at Kapanishi Mange. You'll find an Insta story highlight that says how I do things. Click on it and you'll see the questions picture. Send me your question or your suggestions for the next video and I'll do a video all about it. Now, before we get into this video, I have a very important question to ask you have you subscribed have you you have not subscribed have you what are you waiting for subscribe now if you did not know every single day at 7 30 south african time we go live with a brand new video premiere that means that every single day when the video goes live we are there in the live chat just chatting up a storm with ladies from all over africa and around the world we got china representing we've got zambia kenya we've got botswana we've got eswatini is also in the house listen if you do want to join us for these morning chats and conversations just join us 7 30 south african time we'll be there i'll be there chatting up a storm i'll see you there so let's not waste any more time let's get into it number one is to do something without expecting anything in return we are like that as women sometimes we do things and we expect a little bit of praise for it you know you you, you give your man something out of the blue out of the I don't know way. You just give him something and just expect him to just say thank you. Thank you so much that it makes us feel good. I can tell you now, giving is actually a very selfish act because you receive praise and thank yous in return. And those praise and thank yous kind of make you feel good, don't they? They kind of make you feel like your booty's bigger. It just it makes you feel really good. But when you spoil your man, do it without expecting anything in return. Give him something without expecting him to buy you something in return. Give him extra love. Give him a new pair of shoes. Give him something that you would really like to see him happy with. Without expecting even a thank you. And if you do get a thank you, it's an extra bonus. But just spoil him without seeking anything in return. I promise you now there will be returns. But don't expect them. Number two, the greatest gift you can give your man. I promise you. You do this for him, ha, 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 he will love you to the ends of the earth and back, okay? I'm gonna let you in on the secret. It is honestly the greatest thing you can give him or do for him. Leave the man alone. Stru. Best thing you can do for him. Not just to just be out of his space but let me let me explain to you what leave him alone is leave him alone for a full 24 hours without warning so on a saturday morning this is how i would do it for men saturday morning wake up 
and be like, listen, babe, I'm, I'm going to take the baby and we're just going to go take a drive to go see your grandmother and I'll come back tomorrow afternoon. So from 6 p.m. on a Saturday till 6 p.m. on a Sunday, that man is just left by himself or just a whole day from morning 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. That man has the house all to himself. He's going to walk around in his panties. He's going to watch Liverpool. He's going to watch the Formula One and he's going to eat. So to make sure that he really enjoys his time all by himself, I'd make sure that there's food. Breakfast, lunch and supper is in the fridge so that this man doesn't even have to worry about food. I'll leave him alone. Like just enjoy himself all by himself. You would be so surprised how much your man would just enjoy to be in the house. Walk around in his panties, not a child, not nothing in the house. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, but I'm, I'm the one who's always spending time with the children. Why must I give him space? I'm talking about how you spoil your man here. Ne? When men start watching my channel, I'll start making videos for them on how they can spoil their women. Because I know, give me a hotel for a weekend by myself, I'd be happy. But this is a subject about how to spoil your man. I promise you, as much as you want a full 24 hours by yourself with no children in the house, he also wants the same thing. And we are assuming that your man is a good man and he's not going to go call some other random, flaunting, floozy piece of bum into your house. But let's just say, give him that time all by himself. That man is going to just enjoy it so much. And you leave him with food. Oh, he'll love you forever. The third way that you can spend and spoil your man is to introduce him to new self-care products. Now, we know how men are. You'll be there using your SPF on your face, looking all good, feeling all good. And then he'll be like, what is this? And he wants to use it. Huh? He needs to get his own things. So the best way to introduce him to something is look at his... Starting with his skincare routine, what is he missing? Is he cleansing, toning, moisturizing, and using an SPF? If anything is missing, then you want to introduce him to the things that are missing. And if you think that maybe he could use a better skincare routine or a skincare range, you can go get him all four products for him, which can be quite pricey, but hey, we want to spoil and spend on our men, don't we? So head over and do it. I recommend Clarence for Men. Clarence for Men works really well. I've seen it being used by multiple different men. It is a bit pricey, but it is really worth it. I've seen the change and my man's skin is radiant. It looks good. It looks perfection. And if you really want him to start using the products, the best way to introduce your man to skincare products, I'll give you the tip. Come here, let me tell you. What you're going to do is you're going to apply it on his skin for him. That's how you introduce him to new skincare routines and new self-care products. Show him how it is used. Thereafter, he will start to use it too. Especially if he's seeing you as his example. It really does work. Men get a little bit stressed with new things, but if you really want him to try something new, show him how it works. Introduce him slowly. Soft launch on the product. Thereafter, he'll take over. Number four is only for the brave, my darling. I want you to go in, shave his balls. I kid you not, try it. It's a very special position to be in. You're there. You're not necessarily gonna shave his balls because I don't even shave my little girl, so why would I do that to my man? So you're going to trim and use hair removal on that area. So what you're going to go get for him is a kit, a grooming manscaping kit, a little box where you put in the shaver. So men actually have their own little shaver. So I have an epilator, which I use for my intimate areas and you can get the same for your man, but men have their actual own one. It looks like a head shaver. The thing that they use on their hair looks like a pair of clippers, but it's actually much smaller. And you're going to get a stainless steel pair of tiny scissors that you can use down there and any other hair removal products that you may need. You can also use like a VIT, which is a hair removal cream that you can use around the man's bikini area and trim everything else. In that kit is everything that you will need to help him manscape. And the first time, do it for him. It's a very interesting position to be there. You know, move the balls to the left, manscape, move the balls to the right, manscape. And this is for the ones who have the special gut here, in this position here, who truly love him in a way that you can look at him in this light and you don't, things don't change for you. You still just love him even more. This takes a special piece of love, but at the very least, just get him that manscaping kit and then he can do it. Or if you really just feel like I can't, I can't do this, then book him into a waxing session, which happens at quite a lot of the Sobe mans and quite a few of the places where you can go get your waxes. So book him in, 
let him get waxed and trimmed if you do not mind another woman moving his balls to the right and moving his balls to the left. Number five is to buy him a casual pair of shoes. The thing about men is they sometimes struggle to find good casual shoes. So if your man is not the type to leave the house with his toes all showing, then buy him casual shoes for the house. Walking around in a nice pair of slippers and in the summer, a nice pair of sandals that he can wear in the house where he's free to show his toes to you. Buying him something that he uses, uses in a casual setting is extremely thoughtful because you're thinking of something that is for him, for his comfort, for him to feel good when he is at home and nobody else gets to see him but you. So getting him a casual pair of slippers or sandals or you know, depash pash, some flops that he can wear around the house, some thongs, makes it really easy for him to feel comfortable and it does really make him feel spoiled in a very special and intimate way. Number six is to then get him a pair of shorts. This is something that is also extremely thoughtful because you're thinking of his comfort, but you're also thinking about his style in that comfort. So you can get him a pair that he only wears at home where he feels nice and comfortable, or you can get him a pair that he'd be wearing when he goes out to brides, when he goes out and he's hanging out with you, taking a walk with you. These are a pair that my husband has absolutely fallen in love with. These are from, these are from Mango. And these are an amazing pair of shorts that work well at home, but they also work well leaving the house and going out. So you can go for lunch in these, you can go for brunch in these, you can go for a bra in these. These work very beautifully. The color as well makes it suitable for you to even wear it at night. So if you really want to get him a pair of casual shorts, Mango has some amazing selections that are still manly, don't make him feel like a boy and make him feel really good in those comfortable pair of shorts. Number three is to give it to him three times a day and to accompany it with three special meals. This is how it's going to work. You're going to leave the house, you're going to go buy some English muffins, some bacon, some eggs. You're gonna make breakfast different and you're gonna make it special. And then you're going to do the same for lunch and supper. So you might need to go do some groceries just to make sure that you have the special things, add some salmon to the breakfast, you know, things like that. Things that you don't usually eat for breakfast, lunch and supper. Then you're gonna wear the man out every single time. You're gonna make sure he's hungry. So in the morning, you're gonna give it to him good and strong. Make sure that the man is famished when you are done with him. Then you're going to go make him an egg benedict with a little side of salmon, you know, over there and some nice things sprinkle, garnish, the works bring him the food same thing happens at lunch finish him make sure he's famished by the time you're done and then make him a special lunch supper you're going to make this nice lasagna but before he eats you need to make sure the man is hungry when you are done and that is such a nice way to spoil he's going to know that she went out and bought food and then she did all of this it's a full day effort but if you want to spend that coin and spend that time then this is a beautiful way for you to give him the affection that makes him feel like truly i am special to this woman and this is truly a special woman to me then number eight is a special weapon and a special secret that i read in the book a woman after god's own heart I've bought this for my friends. My mother has read this. I've read this. It's a book I like to share with as many women as possible. And there's this one question that has completely revolutionized how I view my role and our relationship in, it's, it's a completely different light. Wake up and ask your man, is there anything I can do for you? Is there any way that I can help you? Are you happy? Is there something I can do to make you happy? This is such an unselfish question to ask. And once you ask this question, you'll start to see the power in it. The first time you ask your man, he may feel a bit strange because it's like, what do you mean? What do you mean? What can I do for you? Just ask him, hey, is there anything I can do for you? Is there anything you want? Is there something that you were gonna do that I, maybe I can do it for you? It's such an unselfish way to give to a person. It is truly giving, truly giving, availing yourself to a person is the best way to spoil a person. It is unselfish and it is absolutely amazing. I just want you to try it. Go and ask your man, are you happy? Is there anything I can do to make you happy? And make it an open question for him not to feel shy to say anything. Ask him, is there anything I can do for you? It catches a person off guard, but it makes a person feel so appreciated and so helped because you're giving of yourself so unselfishly. 
Now, that's it that I have for today. And I hope that you'll be spending that coin and spending and spoiling on your man just a little bit because our men deserve to be spoiled too, right? Hope that you guys enjoyed that one. Let me know in the comment section down below which one stood out the most for you. And if you have any suggestions for our next videos. Until next time, beautiful people, I'm Kapana Shimangi and this is How I Do Things. Hey gorgeous, thank you so much for watching my video right until the end. Now if you have not subscribed, click on this picture right here, it will help you to subscribe. And if you've not gone down to my website www.kopanashimange.com, then please head over there and download my new ebook, The 7 Hacks to Building Your Confidence. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow at 7.30 for another live premiere. Bye.